Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome back to Lie Eat 2. Previously on Lie Eat, we found out who the culprit was, and then we challenged him to some kind of card duel, as per mystery James Bond flick tradition. This feels like some kind of whimsical version of James Bond. Sire for the wit, Mr. Bond. I see you've brought your dragon girl. Sorry for the wait. Hmm? Where's that girl? Oh, she went to the bathroom. It's not a problem to start without her, is it? I suppose not. Maybe that was an invisibility cloak. So she's under the table hiding and can look upwards. Ah, uh, I see. Also, sorry, but the air conditioning's really cold. Do you have a blanket? My, are you alright? Wait a moment. Is that sufficient? Sorry to trouble you. I think I'm fine now. Then let us begin. I went first before, so why don't you go? Okay. Seven three. Nope. Two and king. No. Queen. Ace. Ah. Huh? An ace. Alas. Ace. Here it comes. Your hand faltered. I'll flip it one in a second. Here. Ace of spades, ace of clubs. Matched. <laughs> Congratulations. But you mustn't cheat. What are you hiding under that blanket there? Nothing. I'm just hiding my, uh... Uh, what do we hide under blankets usually, um... Porn? No, that's stupid. Lots of porn? No. What do you mean? When you chose the ace, I shall not shake a little. That was no shiver. Were you hiding something in your cape? that moved up to the front. Was that little shaking a tap on your foot to tell you where the ace was? You can tell me, Effie. Damn it, Effie! Stay in the blanket! You're so good, Miss Olivia. I worked so hard to learn how to signal it, too. Huh. I'm very skilled at seeing through those tricks. But I'll let you have that victory. And since you won, you can go first again. Right. Ace, five. I want to mix them up. Don't be so rough that they fly off the table. Ah, uh, okay. My, two aces, I win. Huh, so she is actually a snake girl. I guess I should just take everything everyone says literal when they mention she's a real snake or he's a real dog. It's not just a figure in this world. Well, want to keep going? You can't pull your cheap trick anymore. Now play. This hasn't been settled yet. I go first, of course. Nope. Nope. Ace and king. Ace. Ace of diamonds, ace of hearts. Match. Congratulations. As I promised, you may ask me anything. <laughs> that ace of hearts. So, about me and Lucas. Yes? Well, it's true. We've been fighting constantly as of late. Because Lucas keeps talking with and touching other women despite having me. He can't exactly be mine alone anymore. Don't you find it terrible? Yelling at him does no good. 
so I did those things to him so his body might learn. Though he's had plenty of trouble with other women still. Now, if the manager found out about us fighting, she'd know it was me right away, yes? Plus, I had William help me to cleanly erase that. Another expression of my love? Have a problem with it. Effie, this is the kind of girl who shackles guys and throws away the key. Don't grow up to be like her, alright? <laughs> Lucas said the same thing. But I don't know how to shackle or not shackle anybody. <laughs> Any other questions? Feel like turning yourself in? Why? Am I doing anything wrong? Aside from choking my boyfriend to near death every night? I think I know what'll happen if I tell the police what you just told me. Sure, yes, I suppose. But that last match, when you shuffled the cards at the start of the turn, you casually slid in an ace of hearts, didn't you? I've got a good eye for this, you know. And the card placements. I knew all of them from the start. When I told her William to erase was the location of another ace. So you retained the memory of the ace you brought in. Shame on you. One mustn't let their cheating be exposed. No matter what the variety. By the way, you're gonna eat my memory of everything you told me, haven't you? Nope, you just gonna slap me over the head. Oh no! You're gonna drop me through a pit. Oh, that's... that's pretty classical. I didn't promise I'd let you go unharmed. Ow. Effie. Gah. Feels like I sprained something. But I guess dragons should be fine after a fall like that. Can we get out of here? This reeks. Gotta hurry out of here. No, oh, let's just get some cherry candy out of this trash. That's edible, right? Not getting up too soon. Not opening. Lies are flooding in. Weird. I wouldn't think she'd be that lost in lies. So who? Ah, oh, I messed up. I get it. Not much time then. Gotta get Effie up. Ow! Get up, Runt. Food. Hmm? But I just ate. That was yesterday. Come on. You gotta be getting hungry. Hmm. I guess. If you say so. Good. Then get to it. What are you staring at? This fishbone has been to be a very fashionable fashion accessory. How? You kind of stink. Shut up, damn it. A little better now. Nah, you still smell. Just normal like. What if I told you I don't smell? You don't smell? Good. Now clean this up. So Snake Girl there became kind of a literal snake. I guess everyone's a bit of a... a were creature of sorts in this world. It really seems like our lead is the only one who isn't some form of transforming animal. That's the end of them. But they'll keep flooding out. Gotta eat the source. Is it somebody taken over with lies again? Yeah, it is. Why does everybody lie? It's so exhausting. That's humans for you. Don't bother yourself with it. But you can die if you get taken over by them. Since you're a liar, Hal, Sometimes I wonder if someday you'll die from it. 
since I can't tell what your lies are and can't eat them for you. So that's what you've been thinking about now. Listen, I don't tell lies. Even if I was lying, I'm just a liar. Not a liar, or whatever. They don't owe me. Just don't worry about it. I can take care of myself. And I'll protect you, too. So don't waste your time with that nonsense. Here they come again. Can't be sticking around here any longer. Time to clean up. No end to them. How? Yeah? What? Um, I had this thought about seven towns back. In the one of the vampires... Are these your lies, Hal? Why do you say that? They were more jumbled before, so I couldn't tell, but... Not so much this time, and they tasted a little different from the others. Huh, so you can already tell. So? Does it have to do with that friend you lost when you were little? Who told you that? The captain. What a blabbermouth. Yeah, a lot happened, but it's all in the past. It's done and finished. And? And I'm sorry if I couldn't protect them. What the? That doesn't sound like you at all. Probably because I'm busy making people sad and mad. That's okay. It's okay. I'll protect you no matter what. I'll beat up all the lies. You don't beat them. You eat them. And you ought to be able to protect yourself before you spout a line like that. If you can't protect yourself, you can't protect anybody. Can't you protect each other? Hal protects me, and I protect Hal. Or does that not work? You little... Ah, <sighs> fine. If you say so. Yeah. You seriously are a weirdo. Get your hands off me. You're gonna stink. That's okay. You're stinkier. Really. Hello, Knuckles. Come to save us. I remember you saving us before last time. Hey. You sure you can just bust down the door all flashy? Hey. It's an emergency. I got permission from the captain and the manager. What happened? Is a liar on the loose? No. Well, maybe. The dragon child is running amok. Will. Sorry, but I don't know how to stop a wild dragon. That's what we're here for, but this one seems to be protected by lies. Our attacks can't hit them. They're ineffective against lies. Huh. That's how it works. Never notice, since we're the only ones who ever try. The more you know, more info that sell. We can't sell until we find out why people can't hit him, moron. Look, this is no time to chat. Yeah, the kid's running around rampant now. It's not too bad, luckily. He's still in there somewhere. Got it. But there's another liar. If we don't beat them first, the Dragon Kid's lies are just gonna come back. So let us focus on that first. Right. I'll tell the captain. We're watching him in our room. So when you're done, come quickly, too. Boy, you reek. Oh, shut up. I'll go on ahead. Hey, can't that guy go through walls? Wish he'd have just carried us like before. Maybe he doesn't like you. Really hurts to hear you say it so bluntly. Let's go. There's lies all around. Watch out for the goopier ones. We ought to avoid them if possible. Right. Sure is a lot of lies around. You must be Snake Girl. 
No, you're you're Lucas. Who's this? Eden, find out. Let's go. There's one more, so let's wrap it up quick. Damn, that grenade hits hard. I they refine some things. Like the lying skill, I think they take HP now. pretty soon. Seems like his whole entire resort's a bunch of liars. Uh, I'm gonna chew really slow and careful. Keep that to when you're short on money and food. Got it. Mr. Lucas! You okay? As okay as I look. So you were lying. You remembered who was strangling you and crucifying you all along. Why do you think that is? Well, Olivia did as punishment for your womanizing. So if your memory of it were erased, there'd be no point. It just repeated itself. And you really overstressed the point of not remembering. But Effie let me to think the victim had no reason to lie. So I overlooked you. Huh. Let me to praise you as an expert now. Yeah, I remembered. I sowed the seeds. Now I gotta reap them. I was stopping Sophie from calling the police. But this time, she got through. And there's William, too. We were trying to figure out what to do, and then this happened. Listen, Lucas. Kindness made from lies can't protect you or anybody. Sure, it's gonna take time to get out of your stupid-ass contrarian habits. But just stop lying. Be able to protect one woman before you reach for another. Um, you sure you should tell him that? You can't just tell a liar to stop lying. But thanks. I feel kind of relieved. I'll be sure to talk with Sophie tomorrow. And I gotta apologize for getting William into this mess. Oh yeah. The Dragon Kid's in a bad way too. Wait, for real? I gotta... Take it easy. We'll handle the rest. Go back to your room and rest for the day. Damn it. Alright, you better have this. Let's go. Last one, so keep at it. Alright. So Olivia's gone, huh? Too bad. Kind of wanted to get some revenge. Finish your business. Yeah, it's done. I see. Sorry to throw you for the gauntlet. But help us out here, too. Thankfully, his wings and horns help him evade deadly attacks. He's still young, so if you hurt him too much, he might die. Right, got it. Once the lies are cleared up, we'll restrain them. Please. Completely overtaken. Gotta hurry. Yeah, 
Let's make this the end. This is... This is pretty JRPG-ish design right there. And so in the bad end, everyone forgot everything they could. Not as bad as the last one, I suppose, from the previous game. Alright. Triple knife just seems a lot better than grenade. That's it. All right, they're off. Go ahead. Thanks. This will be quick, since it's not too severe. How are you feeling? Uh, William, Miss Sophia. So sorry. I'm sorry. Well, ran. What now? Let's go check on him. William? Sophia? I'm sorry. No, it's my fault. Because of the job I had, I was always tormented by bad dreams. I tried to put my feelings aside, but I'm human after all. Then one day, William... Your egg appeared, and you said you could eat dreams. I... I know, in that moment, I said I wanted you to erase the source of all those dreams, yes? Yeah, that's right. You look so hurt. So, I ate them all. Then it seemed like you could sleep well. I thought I'd done good. So when customers here have bad dreams, too, I secretly ate them. But if I eat good dreams, it make people unhappy. I saw that in a storybook. Soon I thought I had to eat all the bad dreams. So then... I'm sorry. I pushed this all on you. We can't erase bad dreams if we don't carry them, if we can't go stronger. From now on, I won't run away. So I can protect everyone. You don't need to push yourself anymore. Miss Sophia, I'm re re really sorry. So when Miss Manager made a wish, Will's egg showed up? Yes, that's right. It was a desperate time. I had a very strong wish. Personally, I wonder if dragons are gifts from God to grant such wishes. Huh, I'm glad stuff got settled. It's getting pretty late. Let's rest for today. Thanks for everything. No, thank you. Dragons are born from people's thoughts and wishes. Good night. I'm sorry I troubled you. Night, Will. Night, Miss Sophia. It seems like our protag lies so much 
that that's how he got his dragon companion. He maybe even regrets lying to a certain extent, or regrets being a con man, but he is too burdened by his past and his memories. Sleepy. Last night was way too noisy. Are we leaving town? Well, we did what we came for. We checked up on the dragon. And there's nothing more troublesome than dealing with quarreling couples. Did you get any info? Yeah, enough. We should say goodbye to the manager before we go. Eventually you learn to appreciate us, Knuckles. Eventually. So things have been resolved. I wonder what happened to Snake Girl. At least we took her wallet before she left. <laughs> Tie boy. Maybe next time, pick a different kind of woman. I truly must thank you for what you've done. It just pains me to see you off without proper thanks. No, you've helped a lot. I've spoken with the police. They say William can stay here. But as I've told you, my knowledge of dragons is rather meager. So if you ever come again, I would appreciate your knowledge. Hal asks for money to tell anybody anything, so I suggest giving up. Then maybe I'll just make you something tasty. Whoa, let's come back! I'll try hard to protect what's important to me. It just took me too long to notice what that was. Maybe it's true that the most important things are the hardest to notice. What do you feel is important? The Sophia? The others? Living the way I do? Well, those are all things you can see. It just differs between people how important some things are. No real big difference between visible or invisible. But the more visible and close something is, the harder it is to notice its value. I see. Then I'll have to pay more attention to my surroundings. It caused you a load of trouble, didn't I? Yeah. You better grow out of your habits quick. Sure, sure. Thinking it's incurable, though. And you may as well be showy about it instead of secret. Harder to notice what's in plain sight, you know. Oh, stop that. If I did that, my head would kiss my neck goodbye. From now on, if this man gets any funny ideas, I'm going to probably punish him for his indecency. He might like that. Sounds good. Maybe he'll get fixed up quicker than I expected. Yeah, if I survive. Well then, we'll be taking our leave. Will he come back to visit? Yeah, not bye-bye. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> we hope to see you again.
is that true dragons are born from people's wishes and thoughts. Hmm. Huh. Sounds more plausible than any other idea I've heard. So what's your wish, Leo? Dunno. Well, that face just now. You totally know. Hey, mind if we stop by a grave? It's on the way, and it might be yours. Uh, all right, all right. Don't walk so fast. So that's it for Lai 2. The plot ended up being pretty predictable, and it kind of ended where everyone, I'm assuming, would think it would end. We did get some info dumps about our main character, his background, and some of the things about the dragon, which leads me to think the next game will focus on the lead this time, instead of the some people they find or something like that. Even the next chapter preview focuses on uh, Leo and some other character that looks like a rival kind of thing going on. Aside from that, I already mentioned in the previous part that I think Laid has pacing issues. I think it does kind of a Metal Gear Solid thing, where it, instead of giving you this information and kind of trickling it down to you, and kind of making it flow a little bit more organically, it just does this huge info dump. You just go talk to the Dragon Cops or someone, and they just spend about five minutes telling you everything you need to know. Everyone's background and uh, how the world works. Which I think can lead to some really long-winded reading. Which is really similar to how, like I said, Mel Gear has these big info dumps. Just as you're standing in front of the boss, they will pour out their heart to you and tell you every secret of the universe right then. But the characters are cool and light anyway, so it's not all bad. Anyway, so, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.